This is the 256 gig iPhone 11 Pro Max. It costs $1,249. I really like it, like a lot, but at 43 cents per photo taken, it just isn't worth it. I'll explain that in a second. And this is the 128 gig iPhone 11. It costs $749 and I really like it too. It's a great bang for the buck deal. And also just look at this gorgeous yellow. I never thought I'd love a yellow phone. They both have the super wide angle camera and that's really the biggest reason to upgrade from any iPhone to the 11. If you need the wide camera, just go get the phone. But if it were between the two, I would take the regular 11 and let me tell you why. Firstly, as a man who has been told he has large hands for his height, this phone sometimes feels too big. Not all the time, but when things are out of reach, it's always at the worst possible time. Yes, reachability exists, but it doesn't always work, and thankfully Apple added this hidden camera menu to at least make that interface easier when taking photos and videos. And holy, the battery life. If you need the longest possible lasting battery in an iPhone, stop watching this video, go to apple.com or go to your store and just buy this phone. It lasts longer than you expected. I mean, if this was a pill, you would have to call your doctor because it's that four hours and still going type expected. I took photos and 4K videos with this phone all day on Sunday after having charged it overnight and it lasted me until Monday at lunch. That's more than 30 hours between charges. It's wild, but, and there's a Kim Kardashian sized butt here, I don't like charging my battery when it's not low. Overall, it kills your battery health faster and that's not good for the phone. And since it doesn't last two full days, you'd probably end up charging it every night anyways or midday every other day, in which case you'll still need to wait for it to charge or carry a power bank with you even though you have a giant phone battery. Now yes, it does charge quickly and the Pro comes with a fast charger, but you can utilize that charger and the speed for the quote regular iPhone 11 just as well. And keep in mind, most Ubers or friends cars that you're gonna be in will probably just have the regular charging cable anyway, so don't get used to fast charging. Now back to that whole thing about the 43 cents per photo. Let's do some quick math. Let's say we have two iPhones, both the 256 gig versions. The regular iPhone 11 is gonna cost you 849, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max is gonna cost 1249. That difference is $400. Let's say you average out to taking one photo with the telephoto lens per day for the two years you own this phone. So that's 365 days times two equals 700 days and 700 telephoto photos. Now divide that by the price of $400 and it's actually 57 cents. You might be thinking, well, what if I go 11 Pro and not 11 Pro Max? And that's where we get to the 43 cents per telephoto image that you take. So other than the telephoto lens and the larger screen, which does have better colors than the regular 11, what makes the iPhone 11 Pro worth it? Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing makes this phone special. So unfortunately for this phone, it is going back to the Apple store and will probably get sold on the Apple refurbished site. So whoever gets a deal on it, you're welcome. Remember when the iPhone 7 Plus came out and it was so special and amazing because you had to have that phone for the exclusive portrait mode? Well, I don't get excited for phones like that anymore. Those were the days. I want that type of excitement for my next phone. So iPhone 12, please be a 2020 revolution. Thank you for watching. And if you got an iPhone 11, let me know which one you went with and why. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.